Not all solar systems generate power. Some of them help you conserve energy, specifically electricity or natural gas you'd be using to heat water. The process is called solar thermal. I'm on the roof of South Face Energy Institute's offices in Midtown Atlanta to take a look at two different kinds of solar thermal collectors, also known as solar hot water. Chris Teal, South Face's facilities manager, is going to explain how their system works. All right, we have got two different kinds of solar hot water heating uh, apparatus. The older, traditional, and, and honestly more simple one is behind me. It's a flat plate collector where you basically have a black box, a glass cover, it's insulated and there's water pipes or, or antifreeze in this case. And running through there, the sun comes out and it gets hot. From there, it is circulated by a pump into this secondary heater. And these are called evacuated tube collectors. Each one of these glass tubes is like a thermos bottle. It has a vacuum that's created so that energy can come in in terms of the sunlight. It's all painted black, but it cannot get out of the vacuum. It works kind of like a, um, a heat tube with a copper pipe in the middle of each one, and that brings energy up to the manifold with the antifreeze circulating through there. Each one of these will capture heat, transfers it up to the working fluid, and then it circulates down into the building. From the roof, the hot antifreeze is circulated by this pump, so it's running through a heat exchanger. This is where the energy from the hot roof, the hot antifreeze, is transferred to the potable water. And the potable water is circulated by this pump, running into and out of the storage tank. The hot water that is stored in this tank basically is free hot water. The pumps use a negligible amount of electricity. But the water here becomes the preheated supply for the intake of our backup unit. This is a tankless gas-fired water heater and so this has very little work to do. So when the hot water tap is open, this will fire up the gas flame and heat up the water just as much as the difference between uh, the set point, usually about 120 degrees, and then whatever the preheated tank is delivering. Any kind of a solar hot water heating system does not generate energy. What it does is it helps you conserve those fuels you would otherwise be using in a conventional, traditional uh, water heating system. So why is this important? Well, 25% of your home's energy dollar is spent heating water and keeping it hot. Water comes in from the street at about 50 degrees, and then we heat it to about 120. The sun can preheat street water to about 105 degrees. Letting the sun do most of the work will shave a lot off your energy bill. A solar thermal system can run as little as $2,000, and in many cases, it can connect right to your existing system. The payback is faster when your current system is electric, but that's just because natural gas is so cheap right now. But it's important to keep in mind that natural gas is a fossil fuel, and so whenever we can replace it with renewable sources like the sun, well, that's a good thing. Hot sun, hot water. That's just another easy way to be green. As always, our challenge to you, put your green on one leg at a time. Stay connected by becoming a fan of our Facebook page and help spread the green by sharing with your friends. Greenshorts.com, that's shorts with a Z.